Jonathan Lee Riches investigates. Was evidence washed down the kitchen sink inside the home? The home where the stabbings occurred. November 13th, 2022. During the early morning hours, four college students stabbed inside a home. Police have made no arrests, no suspects. I want to talk about the sink, right? Because the murder weapon seems to be a knife. And I'm just wondering if whoever did this before they left the house, or maybe they didn't leave the house, washed the knife down the drain. And I say that because I want to show you something here. I want to show you a picture of the crime of, of the crime scene. I'm going to show you a picture and then we're going to discuss. So this picture was taken by a journalist who was outside of the home after authorities searched the inside of the home, investigated inside and they snapped this photo and you can see the looks like the kitchen and it looks like the kitchen table. Well, look what's all over the table. So you have bowls and you have pans and you have plates, cups. It looks like a lot of that possibly came from the sink. And authorities moved all these items from the sink onto this table. Another worth noting is top corner there. Look on the door. I don't know what that is on the door there, but that looks suspicious. But if authorities did move all this from the sink, it makes me wonder, were authorities analyzing the sink drain in the sink? You would think if a large knife was used, maybe the individual or individuals who used the knife washed it off, washed the knife off in the sink after they did the stabbings. So is authorities searching the drain in the sink? Are they opening up the pipes that could possibly reveal a clue? DNA, blood, hair, evidence in the sink. Does the sink hold clues? Let me know what you think. So you saw a bunch of bowls and pans and pots and pans all scattered on a table. I'm wondering if all those items there were originally in the sink and police moved them from there and put them over on the table. Maybe not. Maybe they were on the table. But I'm wondering if authorities have checked the sink of the house, the drain, right? The drain. Because if evidence went down in the drain, you're talking about DNA, fiber, hair, fibers, any type of evidence could have went down that drain and could help because, you know, under the drain, there's, you know, pipes under there. Maybe they opened up the pipes and I don't know, have some sort of technology to, you know, scoop things out. That's the question. Well, this sink be the key to solving this case or a part of the key to solving this case. This case remains unsolved. Someone used a knife and I'm not so sure if the person left the house that they took a bloody knife with them. You would think they would wash it off, whether that's in the kitchen sink, bathroom sink, hose on the side of the house, I don't think people are running away with a bloody knife. And notice I said, if they left the house. And that's a cryptic message I'm sending to you people out there. Maybe the person who did this lived in the house. Subscribe to my channel, like, hit the notification button. I am covering this tragedy. No stone left unturned. I have a lot of videos out on a lot of players centered around the four victims, praying for the victims' families, praying for the community of Moscow. Hopefully they'll solve this case soon. <sighs> Be safe, everyone. Travel in Paris. In the meantime, travel in Paris. And if you see something, say something. If you see something, say something. Hopefully authorities will get their person 
very, very soon. Everyone be safe. God bless.